Very good. I don't know what it says. And then let's make you look. The Raman begins. When is this so? That we go to the um, to the day of gathering, which is either Monday or Thursday before Yudalad, before the 14th. When we had our own kingdom. We go below to the Pirush. In the Pirush it says, but today you only read it on the 14th and the 15th. And he explains, the Ramam continues, B'nei Kvorim and B'nei Ayoris Kvorim B'yudalad. The people who live in, in unwalled cities or in, in, in small towns, they read on the 14th. B'nei Krochim, those who live in walled cities, Kvorim B'tesvo, read on the 15th. The Magen Mishnah cites Megillah, Be'ez Omer Aleph, Omer Yudah. When is this so? When the, the years are the way they should be, and Israel are on their lands. But in our times, you only read it in the proper time. And the Aracham is saying there. The Lecha Mishnah explains. The Gemara was, had a question on Abiyuda. But we learned that Kol Shenichmasen Boy Mishenu Hamishi Mekdimim. Wherever you gather on the second, and meaning Monday and Thursday, you make it earlier. And the mission says, like Rabbi Yehuda, one mission like Rabbi Yehuda, one side of Yosef Rabbi Yehuda. The Ramam learns Rabbi Yehuda is talking only in a time, and technically the Allah should be like Rabbi Yehuda. Rabbi Yehuda is speaking only in a time that uh, when Kalei Yisrael are found in Eretz Yisrael and they have their own kingdom. So there, there, there are times that it would seem that the Ram agrees with both Mishnas. Now, Gos Maimonis cites Megillah Beis Amid Aleph. According to Avakiva, you only go to the Day Aknisa. According to the Achomim, today, since you do not have witnesses who come to tell us when the Chodesh is, you count 30 days from Megillah until Pesach. And if some people will do it earlier, and some people will do it later, then it has to show them to count 30 days from the earlier date, and they'll eat chametz on Pesach at the end of Pesach. And they'll start, stop eating chametz too early. The Maeser Rekiach cites from the Rambam in Pirush HaMishnayis, meaning that uh, from the Talmud was, from when the Talmud was written down, Tom Mashiach will come. Meaning that even though if we, ha- we even if we have our own Medina, it doesn't change. The Torah says, Megillah is read on the 11th, the 12th, the 13th, the 14th, the 15th, and today only on the 14th. But those who have a wall around them from the time of Yeshua ben Nun, Koiran, on the read on the 15th, even if they're in Chutzlaret. <coughs> That's Shushan and Prague, perhaps, and Beis Yosef cites the, the words of the Gemara and Rashi's explanation that everyone is looking out for Mikra Megillah and therefore because as we said 30 days before after Purim is Pesach then they might come to eat Chomets at the end of Pesach. According to the Riv since they look at means that poor people uh, who need to have money so they wait for pay so the people should give them money therefore you read it only on the 14th and there are those who have the text that since that they look but meaning uh, that there was a sakona that at the beginning they used to read on the 11th, 12th and 13th but when there's a sakona in keeping religion you only read it at the time of Zmano, so that there won't be small small groups who might be Chazasholim heard by <clears throat> others. And he adds, this was the gears, it would seem this was the gears of the Rambam. He writes, when is this so? When Yisrael has a Malchus, when we're in charge. What does that have to do with, with uh, whether they look or they don't look? But today, you don't read it only in man. This is also the gears of Abeinu Hanano. The Maizu Rekiach writes from a old uh, handwritten copy of the Rambam. 
an addition. And after you read the Megillah and Purim, both by day and by night, you say Uvalo Tzion, and that's the meaning everywhere. There are two different yeshivas, even though they have contradictions sometimes.